All right, so today we are finally doing an office tour. Vlogging with the Canon 70D is an arm workout. There we go, look at that. So for those of you who don't know, I moved into this office space a couple months ago now. It's still not totally done. There are still a few things that need to be added and changed and stuff, but for the most part, everything is in, it's decorated. I do YouTube as a job and I also do freelance digital marketing consulting. I have a video where I go more in depth about how I ended up here and what I actually do and all that. So if you wanna see that Shadow and Shmooze video, I will link it in the eye over here and also down below. I'm not gonna go super in depth about it here, but basically I needed a space or I wanted a space where I didn't have to be crammed in my bedroom for filming and working and everything. Filming equipment takes up a shit ton of space. And since I've been doing YouTube, I've never had a dedicated filming space. The last two years that I've been in the apartment that we're currently in, I've been filming in my bedroom, literally on top of my bed pretty much. So that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to get an office space. Now, I'm not sure how much longer I'm actually gonna be keeping this office space for multiple reasons. Construction has been a huge issue. I know you guys say you can't hear it, but that's because it takes me three hours or four hours to film a video because I have to stop every 10 minutes. Not gonna go into all the reasons, but basically, to be determined how long I'm actually staying in here, which is why I've been filming all of my recent videos back in my bedroom. But I figured, while well, it is here, I might as well show you guys it. I love decorating, I love buying home stuff. Moving into a new space is always really fun for me, so if you guys wanna see my room tour video, I also have one on that. So if you guys are excited to see this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. All the stuff I'm gonna be talking about, where it's from, details, is gonna be down below in the description box. <sighs> why am I out of breath right now? <laughs> And yeah, it's just gonna be a chill vlog style office tour. So if you wanna see my office, you're in the right place, just keep watching. Straddling the floor right now. And my legs are shaking. Okay, so here's the door when you come in and then here's a little bit of an overview and then I'm gonna go into each little area. So this is actually a really huge space. There's tons of room in here. Okay, so let's start in this area. This little stainless steel rack thing is actually a kitchen utility rack, I believe it's called. It's from Amazon. Every single thing I'm talking about that I can find will be linked down below in the description box in order that I'm talking about them. I really like the look of kind of industrial, so I love these racks. They actually hold the bins really well. There's tons of space on here. This thing I need to hang. I think I'm gonna put it up right here. All of the wicker baskets I got from Hobby Lobby, and then this one that looks like leather is actually really cool. This is from Lowe's. It's like leather on the outside, but then it still has the cloth on the inside. Like I said, all this isn't totally done yet, so there's some things that need to be added, like a pot for this plant, but that's from Ikea. This was a gift from, I wanna say Lancome, this mirror jewelry box. Here's my Instax mini camera. So in here are all eyeshadow palettes. Literally all of these are full of eyeshadow. And then in here is all of the makeup that I wanna test out or include in like Shadow and Shmoo's videos. And then in this bag are all pretty much foundations to try out for Foundation Friday and 15 Days of Foundation. So if I'm gonna be doing a Shadow and Shmoo's video or something, I pretty much go into here. This thing I love, this was also from Hobby Lobby. If you get anything from Hobby Lobby, make sure it's on sale because they literally just rotate out their sales every week. I'm pretty sure I got all the wicker baskets and containers for like 40% off. And in there I pretty much just keep Lysol wipes, sponges, really exciting office things. So up here, I actually made this as a backdrop for photos for Instagram and stuff. So all I did with this was get a foam board from Dollar Tree, and then this is actually stick-on adhesive wallpaper that just looks like cement. So I thought that I could use this to hang on the wall for backgrounds of like face shots and selfies and things, or for product shots. And when I do product shots, I literally just put it on the ground and make sure there's good lighting and then take it that way. So this little plant thing I got just as kind of like a space filler and I figured if I ever don't want it in my office, I can just put it in our living room. I definitely obviously need to get more plants because I just have that one chill in there. Whenever I come in, I pretty much always put my keys over there. And then this was from, this was also from Hobby Lobby. This is obviously fake. All of my plants are fake because I don't even try to keep plants alive. So I always have a backup battery charging. If you film, you should definitely do this because it's the worst thing in the world to run out of battery in the middle of filming. I have one of these in my house and in the office, so I always have a backup battery. And then I just have my phone charger here, super exciting. All right, so moving over to this area, this is where I store all of the rest of my makeup. This drawer won't close, and by the way, heart sucks, hell yeah. But I'm not gonna go in depth about what is inside of here because I have a whole makeup collection video. I just kind of switched around the drawers and stuff when I moved because I had to unpack everything and then reorganize it here when I moved. But these are basically two Ikea Alex six drawers stacked on top of each other, so I just took the rollers off and stacked them so they're bigger. And I like the wide drawers better than the Ikea Alex 9 drawers. So on top of here, I think this is my favorite part 
the foundation storage. I actually showed a lot of this in my moving vlog. I vlogged the whole process of moving in here and organizing and everything with my dad. If you want to see that video, also will be linked down below. Basically, the racks that are holding my foundation are actually nail polish racks that I got off of Amazon. And for the most part, they're the perfect size for pretty much all foundations. Some of the racks are actually more narrow and some are smaller, so it works out with bigger and smaller foundations. But as you can see, they totally fit fine in there. So these are actually two just screwed in next to each other. I always get questions about my brush holders. These are from H&M. They're actually toothbrush holders that I got. I don't think they still make them. I haven't been able to find them online anymore. These are the brushes that I don't use a whole lot. I have my everyday makeup brushes at home and I actually usually bring them back and forth. This is the blue snowball mic. This is what I use to film voiceovers. I never really do voiceovers, which is why the mic is here. I'm not gonna show you what's in all the drawers. Like I said, I have a whole makeup collection video, but I'll just show you guys a few. So here's all single eyeshadows and primers. Here's some highlighters. Highlighter, oh, these are all highlighters. <laughs> God. Um, some contour products. This is all blush and this is all more bronzers and kind of contours, contour palettes. These are all lipsticks. So these are all nude liquid lipsticks. These are all darker red liquid lipsticks, colored ones, color pop lippy sticks. Eyelashes, these are not organized at all. Obviously the amount of makeup I have is excessive, but again, this is a job for me. So a lot of the products I get sent as PR or I buy them to review them for you guys. All right, so now let's do this part. So I talked a lot about natural lighting and why I'm filming in my room and all this stuff in one of the Foundation Friday videos. And as you can see, I do have two huge windows right here, but I'm actually facing a building. So not a whole lot of direct light comes in, which is why I still have to use my softbox light. I love these. You just have to make sure that you're far enough away or else it's way too bright and you can't dim them. So when I film in the office, this is where I sit. So this fold out desk I got from Ross is like 15 bucks and it's a lifesaver. I think it's supposed to be like a TV kind of tabletop, but it's perfect for filming because I can just fold it up and it's what I used in my room as well when I was filming there. Slash, I still am filming there and I probably should bring this back. This chair, pretty sure I got from Amazon or Wayfair. I wanna say Amazon. And it's just like a modern kind of wire chair. They had it in gold and a couple other colors too. Jack in the box ice mocha, of course. This is the mirror I used to film. Where did I get this? Oh, I got this off of Hot Look. I get a lot of stuff off of Hot Look. It's like Nordstrom Rack, Nordstrom's flash sale site. One of the reasons why I was super excited to be able to film in here was to be able to have room for things that just make filming way easier, like having a monitor. When I film, I can see myself on a tiny viewfinder. This monitor rocks because you can actually see yourself bigger on a screen as you're filming. So I use that HDMI cord and you just hook that up to your camera this stand is super heavy duty, not really necessary for this tiny monitor, but it was the only stand I could find, got that off of Amazon. My tripod also from Amazon. And then this light down here is what I use as like a background filler. So when I'm filming, I typically put that light behind me over here. So this hanging plant thing I love, I also got this from Hobby Lobby both the fake plant and the silver thing that it's hanging in. I just have that on the wall. And I also had my dad drill a hole right under it. If you can see that, there's a little screw under there just so I can move it if I want to because I was thinking I could film against that wall sometimes if I wanted to. So I theoretically could move that lower so that the plant is in the frame if I wanted it to be. Behind here is a file cabinet where I keep stuff for taxes, receipts, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so onto this area. So this is my desk area over here. This rug I'm in love with. I really like the look of industrial kind of modern mixed with more bohemian, which is why I went for this rug. This rug is from Rugs USA. Rugs USA is pretty much where I get all of my rugs. It's where I got our living room rug, my bedroom rug. They have really good deals and they always do major sales. I love it. If you want to get this exact rug, just be aware that it majorly, majorly sheds. I don't really mind it because I'm not sitting on it or anything in here and I don't really put my backpack or purse or anything on it. Let's start in this corner over here. So one of the things I wanted for sure in this space was a good selfie mirror, which I actually haven't utilized a whole lot yet, but this is a mirror from Ikea. I love this mirror. It makes the room look a lot bigger and I just have it kind of leaned in the corner. This little vase thing I got from Ross. Ross is another place where I love to get home stuff. Silver and kind of glittery and I just think it looks really cool with these palm fronds and these palm fronds I got from Hobby Lobby. Moving on to the desk area. This desk is my favorite thing of life. As you can see, it looks like white marble. So this I'm super excited to share with you guys because I have been on the hunt for a long, huge desk 
that was marble for forever. All the desks I was finding were either not long enough or they were super expensive because it was marble. So I figured out kind of like a DIY hack for this. So this is actually a Ikea kitchen countertop. So this is not real white marble, this is laminate. Pretty sure it was 80 bucks, but it's for a kitchen countertop, so it's pretty durable, super long. And then I just got these stands also from Ikea. Each of the stands I'm pretty sure were 10 or 15 bucks. So literally for about 100, 110 dollars, you make a super long, white marble table. If you don't like the white marble and you want something else, check out the IKEA kitchen countertops because they have ones that look like wood and that look like cement, so they just have some really cool designs in there. Hella cheap. This white swivel chair is from Amazon, super comfy, and turns out this is actually the exact same chair my parents have in their office. So on the actual desk, this is a cup warmer. I don't have a microwave in here, so this is really nice to just plug in over here and if I have coffee I can just keep it warm on here. This was a candle that was gifted to me from I want to say this was Maybelline maybe? I'm not sure but it's a really nice candle and I love this lid. I'm probably never going to burn that because I love the look of it. Another one of the things that just can make your life way easier if you do a lot of computer work or editing can be using a bigger monitor. I didn't want to buy a whole new Mac computer so what I did is just buy this monitor from HP. It looks like really nice sleek kind of Mac design. I want to say this was under 150 bucks and you just get an HDMI cable. So this cable hooks up to my MacBook and it's literally just a double monitor. So you just split the monitor so I can edit and I can edit on a bigger screen even though it's being powered by my MacBook. This is a trackpad over here so it's just easier to edit rather than using the tiny uh, laptop thing. This is what my area above my desk looks like. I wanted something that was clean but that wasn't too minimalistic. These wire things I'm really excited about. I was looking everywhere for these and they used to have some on Urban Outfitters. I think they have gold ones on there. I actually found this wire rack on Amazon and then my dad just used little zip tie things to secure this to the wall. And then I just got these metal clips to clip the art to. You can get gold clips if you want. You can get black ones. A couple of these things were just cutouts from boxes that I got from PR and stuff, this is from L'Oreal, I just really liked it, and it's like matte black. These three prints right here were all from Desenio, and I do have a coupon code for you guys if you wanna check it out. They have tons of cheap wall art on there that's really cute, and they kind of show you like how to style it, which ones go good together. So I'll leave the coupon for that down below. I think it's only valid for a couple days when this video goes live. And I just draped some fake leaves over here that, that was also from Hobby Lobby. This one is definitely my favorite beauty campaign in the past couple years. This was by Hourglass and it's their girl campaign. Four letters that can change the world. This gold and wood shelf is from Hobby Lobby. This little mirrored thing is also from Hobby Lobby. Notebook is from Ross. You guys know I have a marble obsession. It's a little unhealthy. And then this print I do not recommend. I want to say it was Society9. The actual print quality for what I paid is pretty shitty. It looked like I printed it on my inkjet printer. So that's pretty much the desk area. I bring my laptop from home to plug it in when I work over here. There's actually a second door. So when you're in this corner, this is what the area looks like. So this is kind of like my coffee cart sink area. What would you call this? Utility area? I don't know. So this bar cart I got from Hot look. So I have some tea silverware in this rose gold thing. Got my scissors. The silverware was from Ross. This whole set was like six bucks. This marble cup was from Ross. And then I just have some colored pencils and stuff in here. On top shelf, I have my Keurig, a couple coffee cups, and then this little K cup holder thing. This is from Amazon and it just holds all of my K cups. Above here, I have this little mirror and it has a little shelf right here, which is cute if you wanted to put like a fake plant or I don't know whatever you want to put on there and that was from Amazon and then I have these little rose gold lights up here that just switch on and off with the battery right there there we go I never opened this door so I just let the battery thing hang right there so this room came with a sink in here which is really nice especially when I do makeup and stuff because then I can just wash my face afterwards if I want to or in the morning this towel speaks to me I got that from Ross is that not perfection so on top of here I have these brushes which are from Morphe it's like their rhinestone brush collection I don't think I'm ever going to be able to use these and I got this little clear container from Amazon that is one of the prints like the leaf one from the place that I do not recommend. This little, what are these called? Terrarium? Terranium? This thing is from Hobby Lobby. You can kind of just like DIY it. You just buy different little plants and then I stuck some white rocks in there. This is one of my favorite Hobby Lobby finds ever. So I got this two shelf thing from Hobby Lobby. I think it was literally 15 bucks. And I was looking on Etsy. I was looking all over for some kind of 
industrial looking unit like this. So on here, I just have some random things. I have some Bath & Body Works soap, lotion, face wash, candle, Bath & Body Works. Perfume, mostly because it just looked really cool up here. And then I have a couple face masks. Oh, I was actually wondering what happened to that. Makeup removing oil and then a few washcloths and makeup remover wipes. Fake plants I always get at Hobby Lobby. They have the best fake plants. There's a trash can that I need to empty. I got that at Ross. These ones are reasonably priced. I've also got ones from Wayfair, but I feel like the Hobby Lobby artificial plants look way more real. This is actually the same exact plant that I have in my room. That I got at Hobby Lobby. I think that was on sale for like 10 bucks. And I just like the X. You guys know the X is like my favorite emoji. And then here's the door where we started. Oh, I wanna show you this. So this backpack is really cool. So when I come to the office, this is what I store my camera and lenses and everything in. It's actually a camera bag that looks like a backpack. So this is awesome for twa for traveling. For traveling too, because you can also hold your laptop in here. So there's an upper compartment. And I got this off of Amazon. These are foam things that you can clip in the bottom, but here's a spot for your laptop. So when I bring my laptop over to edit, I'll stick it in here. And then there's also a bottom compartment, which is where I keep my DSLR camera. I have my vlog camera in here. And then I also have another lens. It's just padded so you don't have to worry about your camera getting banged up and stuff. And out of all the camera bags, this is definitely the most stylish one I found. So I love this thing. So here's another overview. I think that is everything. So I do have high quality photos of everything on my website, which is thetaylor.com. If you wanna check those out, I'll leave a link for it down below. This is the office. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know. If you're new here, you can join the Bay Rito family and subscribe. I upload pretty much Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, Foundation Friday on Friday. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Whew. Literally both arms are sore right now. Oh. Just trying to get a thumbnail over here.